What do you make of the idea that the NFL might be figuring out Lamar this season? Yeah, I don't think that that has any validity to it. I, you know, that reaction by Lamar there, I mean, I can just hear him right now in my ear saying, man, he green for that. He being a jit right now. And that's, uh, that's some of that Florida twang. Look it up. Don't worry about it. It's very accurate. But Lamar, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lamar um, I've, I've said this a number of times. He's a guy that honestly – what he does is go out and play football. He doesn't think about it. He's an instinctual player. So right when teams think they figured him out, they haven't. Because guess what? He doesn't even know what he's going to do next. He's such an instinctual player. You can figure out the Ravens' offense. I mean, every time on third and short, they ran the ball up the middle with Lamar. Even I had a run against the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, last year before I tore my hamstring up the middle for like 30 or 40 yards. So the offense and the predictability of it, yeah, some people have talked about it. Even Lamar has talked about it. But at the end of the day, you have to stop him. He is the offense. Now you add weapons around him, Mark Andrews, Sammy Watkins, Rashad Bateman, Hollywood Brown, James Prochet, and uh, their offense becomes a really difficult thing to deal with. So I just want to do a quick follow-up on something you said. You said he doesn't even know sometimes what he's going to do next, but you also mentioned that you think this team is going to the Super Bowl. I don't think we have seen a team go to the Super Bowl with a quarterback where you don't really know what you're going to do next. So you, do you think that style of play – can really make it all the way to the Super Bowl, if not win it all? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a legitimate question there. And I think you've seen it over the course of Lamar Jackson's career, how he's made steps each step of the way, right? So the first year they lose in the playoffs, first round. Next year they win the divisional round. And, yeah, it's, it's a tough cookie to crack, but I think that's why he won't be figured out. And I think if you look at the Ravens in their history – a couple of years back, I started against the Steelers in the last game of the year. We lost the first round of playoffs because when you are such an instinctual player and you play off of the feel of the game, you need to keep playing. So I feel like the best route for the Ravens isn't to go 17-0 and or 13-3. Or and They need to get into the wild card so they can play every single week. And, you know, if you look at the numbers, they're 6-1 and one in the wild card round. And that's how they won their Super Bowl with Joe Flacco. They kind of just ran the gambit. And I think that's what Lamar Jackson needs to stay in rhythm and continue to have his feel for the game, not to have those weeks off where he can kind of relax and not have the, the feel of the game for him. Kimberly, what do you think has changed in year four? What, what Have they figured him out? That's my question. Mm. That's, that's literally my question. What is so different about this year being the magical year and, and I say that because when I talk to people around the league, they say, you know, defensive coaches say, give me three games of some film. I, you know, I get a feel for a guy. Give me a whole, like, library of a season. Okay. You, you know, second year. All right. We got some things for him. Lamar Jackson was the MVP. Like, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm a little confused as to what – what people think they can do against Lamar, because this is a guy who's been to the playoffs every single year he's been in the league. Um, and and one, one personnel guy even said to me, the secret, there's no secret when it comes to stopping the Ravens. When you get off the bus, you know you need to stop the run. So everybody knows that, yep. and yet they still can't do it consistently. But, Jeff, you mentioned in our meeting before the show that the passing game is a big deal with this team to really get to the next level. Absolutely. Listen, it's trash that people are saying they could stop Lamar Jackson, right? I mean, you're talking about probably the most explosive player in the NFL with the ball in his hand. So stopping Lamar Jackson, I'm not a fan of that. I would love to see the, a lot of guys come forward and tell me which one is doing that. So that, that being said, their, their offense is very predictable. And you heard uh, Robert say the same thing and Kimberly say the same thing. You know when you get off the bus what you have to do. The issue is the development of the passing game. And I don't care who you are, you cannot be one-dimensional and go win the Super Bowl. That's not how this thing works. And when you think about having to go, go play teams like Kansas City who can hang 34 and 40 points on you, how do you trade back and forth? and how do you go back and forth? That's by extending this, this uh, offensive passing game. Here's my biggest issue. Everybody's been hurt, right? Lamar's missed because mm -hmm. of COVID. You've got Bateman's got to have surgery. Watkins went down. Hollywood Brown went down. So there's no yeah. timing. And I'm telling you, the NFL season is different. Everybody thinks you can grow. This is not the case, right? They need to find rhythm as early as possible and then allow this team to develop as the season goes. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.